Hi, this is Ankur Gupta and this is my second video on Jasper reports. First video was explained the basic uh, introduction about Jasper report and the various things, various utilities provided by Jaspersoft. Now this video comprises of Jasper reports or creating a, just a simple report in Jasper, uh, Jasper report in iReports and I will be using the sample database. If you want to check out my previous video, uh, you could just navigate to my previous video and get uh, an understanding as to what does Jasper report mean or like how, how does it work or something. So to begin with, let me start with the iReport. Uh, oh, yes, I have this the Jasper iReport designer 4.7.0. And I have enabled the sample uh, sample database by going to help samples and run sample database. So just create a new report and let me rename it to demo report. I'm saving the report onto my documents. So this is how the new uh, report looks like a blank empty report. This has a structure of containing several bands like title, page header, column header, detail, column footer, de page footer and summary. Uh, you could see the same thing in the report inspector which uh, lists all the values, all the nodes, basically the bands in form of nodes. So this will display the elements inside the inside each of the bands in the form of node or tree structure basically this is called palette this is a palette with where wherein you could drag the you can drag the elements like break eclipse ellipse image list spider chart etc and lots more tools and and this is the background property properties basically whatever you click upon this is a properties window so you could arrange these windows according, according to your need and requirement. So uh, moving on to this designer. This is the designer perspective which you are viewing. As I have talked in the previous video, this report is created into form of an XML. XML like you could see the all the report is written all here in XML. You could modify it from here also. The preview shows it into a into a i report internal preview or you could like from here export to a pdf or a number of things like wherever you want to export this is then query report query so this basically is the report query wherein we will key in our query for that we need a database so i have already enabled the sample database let me choose one this is the data source. Uh, so I'm just using in the in this video, I'm just using the sample database. Here I selected it. So let me just write the query. Select star from orders. This is the table which is already there. If you want to if you want to view the view the value like in the database, you could just See the refresh preview data from here. So these are all the values over here. So see how you key in the values from here. Uh, this all the all the columns are listed as in as in fields. So I will do an OK. So let me just put a title. We could uh, like resize these. Uh, bands with these handles. So let me just drag a static text like to put in the title of the report. So this is in fact a demo report. So I double click on this element and just write demo report. So let me just enter a line and do it bold. Just increase the size a little bit. So it's visible. 
so i drag it over here oops yes so the query which key, we keyed in over here select star from orders now what we can do is like we could see the fields that are listed over here so whichever field you want suppose i am taking order id ship via flight ship city ship region and ship country i have done this by holding control and clicking simultaneously so let me just drag it into the details band yes now i report does this automatically like if we have placed this order id over here it will uh, put this header uh, correspondingly the column header basically so let me just minimize the Mm. column footer might be uh, the sum of the the like interim things some of these uh, values column footer is like a that so for now we don't need it so we could just minimize it page footer in page footer i will just put this page number so here is the page number uh, yes So this is a page number. That's it. The report is done here. Let us preview it. So here is the preview. See how it's simple is to review our data into it. So you could see it's page one of twenty six, and now you could just simply save it if you want to. Like in documents, I will save it into a PDF format. Uh, calling it test run and save it. Simple. Now, let me just create an input control. Input control means like to uh, like we could see an n number of things, but uh, suppose a filter, it's kind of. So let me put a filter on ship via. So let me create a parameter. You could right click on this parameter node and add a parameter. Name it ship via. Uh, we would uh, change it to integer type as we will key in one, two, or three. Yes, we need it as in prompt. So we will keep it checked. Default we will give nothing. For description, this is a filter of for ship view. That's it. This is created. Now we need to add the same constraint to the query. So, in the where clause, we need to add the constraint on ship view. So, in the where clause. We will write if ship via is equal to. We will simply drag this parameter to here. You see, that's it. So now, if we will preview this, it asks ship via. This is the filter for ship via. So we will enter it too. So we will want whichever values, whichever order the ship via two number. That should be displayed. So if we hit OK, here we see all the orders which are shipped via to. So this is as simple as putting this, uh, this simple uh, logic putting into this, this filters. So this filters could be n number of filters. So that's it. So in the next video, I will tell you about. one thing more let me just show you in the documents thing this was a demo report.jrxml file i will just zoom it this is a demo report.jrxml which is our report and this is the demo report.jasper file now this is the the xml which has been compiled uh, the compiled form of the xml which is called the dot .jasper file and this is the pdf we exported if you remember this is how it looks in the pdf so isn't it sweet like simply getting the values from the database and converting it into a pdf
so that's it uh, thank you if you like my video you could follow me my twitter handle is ankur underscore aug my facebook profile if you want to visit in there and my blog ankur the techie dot blogspot dot in if you like my video do subscribe to my videos thank you